Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Hello, Calvary. I hope you're having a great day today. This is Pastor Rick, and I have a story I wanted to read for you out of Matthew chapter 19, starting at verse 16. And it says, Just then a man came up to Jesus and asked, Teacher, what good thing must I do to get eternal life? Why do you ask me about what is good? Jesus replied, There is only one who is good. If you want to enter life, keep the commandments. Which ones? He inquired. And Jesus replied, You shall not murder. You shall not commit adultery. You shall not steal. You shall not give false testimony. Honor your father and mother and love your neighbor as yourself. All these I have kept, the young man said. What do I still lack? And Jesus answered, If you want to be perfect, go sell your possessions and give to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven. Then come and follow me. At first reading, I think about this man. I think, I like this guy. He could be one of my neighbors. He, uh, he's a wealthy guy. He's living life. He's doing all he can on his own. He probably has a large boat and has a second home here in Havasu. It's probably someone I see downtown. But he has a problem that a lot of people have in thinking that they can earn their way to salvation and to heaven. And so he's presuming that's the way. And he asks Jesus, what do I have to do to gain eternal life? And Jesus said, well, you do what is good. And he says, I have done all the commandments. But Jesus turns his attention to the one commandment that he hasn't fulfilled. And that's the first and greatest commandment, to love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength. And I, I, I would think the man thinking, wait a minute, wait, I didn't see that in the Old Testament. Is this an 11th commandment? Well, yeah, and what Jesus is referring to is this. Your treasure, your heart, is your money. And to follow Jesus is the way to eternal life. So we have to put God first. And so Jesus said, great, you're a good man, but how good is good enough to reach eternal life? Well, eternal life is only through Jesus. So you can't earn your salvation. Jesus has already earned it. And he says that in verse 23. He says, then Jesus said to his disciples, truly I tell you, it is hard for someone who is rich to enter the kingdom of heaven. Again, I tell you, it is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for someone who is rich to enter the kingdom of God. Wow. It's harder for a rich man to get into heaven than for a camel to actually go through a, the eye of a needle. That's pretty difficult. But what Jesus is referring to is saying, hey, you can do all the right things. You can obey all the commandments, but... God needs to be your treasure. And this man's treasure was obviously his money and his wealth and his possessions. And so the man walked away sadly. And he told his disciples, yeah, it's tough when you have a lot of possessions to follow Christ at times. And the disciples said in verse 25, they said, who can be saved then? And Jesus said this, he said, with man, this is impossible, but with God, all things are possible. And that's the point. Folks, we can't earn our salvation. We can't earn our way to eternal life. And this wealthy man had gained a lot of things. And what he was doing is just trying to gain one more thing. He was going by the rules that the man with the, the, with the most toys wins. And why not ask for eternal life? Why not have it all? But the truth is, is if money is your treasure, that's what you're tracing, chasing, and that will lead you away from Christ and away from eternal life. So who can be saved? Those who believe in Christ, those who know Christ, those who follow Christ. Ephesians 8, or 2, 8, and 9 says that it is by grace we have been saved through faith and not of works. It is a gift of God so that no one can boast. How do we get to heaven? Through Jesus. We can't be good enough. We can't earn it. We're only righteous through the Lord. So today, don't beat yourself up. Don't work yourself to death trying to earn God's favor and God's blessing and eternal life. It's already been done through Jesus. So how do we get to heaven? Jesus said in John 
14, 6, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father but by me. So what's the answer? The answer to heaven, how to get to heaven, is to believe in Jesus, to know Jesus, and to follow Jesus. So that's the goal to accomplish today. God bless you, Calvary.